Alright, hey guys, welcome back to Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy walkthrough. We are at part 7, Rock Village. I am so happy today because of number 1, uh, today was my last day of school, so uh, that means I have summer now. And number 2, I can't wait to finish this game because it's really starting to annoy me. <laughs> but uh, right here we just let uh, Samos and Kira... Uh, uh, how do you say, uh, through the warp gate, like they, like Kira told us to before we went through fire cannon, if you don't remember that. And then now we're talking about that giant lurker guy that's throwing these fucking boulders that are on fire. Fucking Jack is staring in her ass right there, if you don't see. <laughs> Look. Uh, that's funny, and then that, there's the blue sages, like, eco beam thing that, like, shoots wonderful blue eco unicorns and stuff. Yeah. And take the furball with you. Um. Okay. So now what you're gonna want to do is. Oh, hey, fl flut. Flut, flut. Ah! So what you want to do now is you want to go over here and get that scout fly that's sitting right there. I had no idea that it was there. I was just like, do 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 do. Yeah. Um. So basically, what I did was. This whole entire walkthrough right here is basically just talking to all the villagers, pretty much, because, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, go down here, and there's a scout fly right there. Yeah, right there. Here, go ahead. Downward thrust. Um, I, I went up here, and right when you turn the corner right here, there's going to be an oracle. And if you don't know what those are, these, like, these precursor thingies, they're, like, built into, like, the wall or rock, and then they have, like, power cells in them, like, two. And then you want to go over here, and like you'll see that there's precursor orbs in there, but you can only open that with blue eco. And there's two of them. There's one right there in front of me, and there's another one behind this rock right here. So we're gonna talk to this geologist. Like she has big boots. Fellows. I've got a research project. It's just going. a video game, though. Maybe you could help me out. Hey, we're the ones on a big quest here. We ask you for help. Well, perhaps we can help each other. I've been studying the burrowing habits of lightning moles in the precursor base <coughs> next to our village for years. Yay. But now those awful lurkers have scared the moles to the surface. And since they're blind as bats, they can't find their way back underground. If you could herd them back into their burrowing tunnels, you might just save their lives. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. Yeah, lightning moles. We care. Maybe we've got two power cells. Hurry up. Nice try. But I would be willing to part with another power cell if you two find me 90 precursor orbs for my research equipment. I'm thirsty and hungry. I'm a home alone. You ever seen those movies, Home Alone? Yeah. So you can trade her 90 precursor orbs to get a power cell, and I didn't do that. And then holy shit, there's that guy that's throwing the boulders and whatnot. So go right over here, and there's this little, there's this guy, there's the the Rock Village hero on the right, and the gambler on the left and we go ahead and talk to this guy which he's like he gives like a fucking three minute speech so yeah have fun listening to it walk it off tough guy oh sure i was tough once maybe even the toughest of them all i single-handedly defended this village from those horrid creatures for almost a year then that horrible monster arrived and commenced the boulder he's got like a big arm a little tiny arm so pussy full of valor Armor shining in the sun. I climbed the hill to take him on. But he pounded me like one tenderizes a yakow steak. Have you tried attacking him with your melodrama? Cause it's killing me. After my last stunning failure, he sealed the passageway to his roost with a 30 ton bolt, leaving no way for anyone to challenge him again. So, our sage a master of blue Pretty awkward eco, silence, guys. <clears throat> There's that machine that shoots out the blue eco unicorns and whatnot. Yeah. This guy's, this guy's such a whiny bitch, dude, I swear to God. And he took all oh, I got hit in the chest by a guy with a tiny arm and a really big arm. Now I'm getting pussy and fucking knocked from freaking break to bridge, and then I have to pay you 90 breakers or orbs yeah, to fucking get a power cell and guy, shit. But, um, we're, we're gonna need you yeah. To, uh, put back <laughs> I have no idea why oh, I just did that. I don't make fun of me. <clears throat> but seriously, though, don't make fun of me. Or I will find you right. and kill you. Fine. Bring me 90 precursor orbs and I'll let 
the pontoons loose. But I'm not going to fight that monster again. Straight up, see, like, it was like three minutes of this guy just talking, dude, and it got so fucking boring. So then I went over and I started talking to the, ga the no, gambler. Not another hero. I lost my shorts on this so called hero's big fight against the monster up there. And trust me, the smart money's on the monster. That wager pretty much tapped me out. So, I got a proposal. Bring me 90 orbs to get me back on my feet and out of this barrel, and I'll give you a power sell in return. And if you're game, I do have one more bet online. My big comeback. Beat the record time racing Dead Man's Gorge in the Precursor Basin, and I'll get a pretty payoff. For that, I'll give you another power sell. And he just showed us that we can go over and race, and then I trade him um, 90 Precursor orbs so he can get his little fucking short ass out of that barrel thing. Here's the power sell, I promise. Yeah, look at that. That's sexy. That's a sexy power set. Ooh, grimy handstrings. <laughs> and then I went over to the hero and then got a power cell from him, and that totals up an equal of 38 Wonderful. power cells. You brought me and 10 precursor, precursor orbs. Alright, I'll fix the bridge. But don't ask me to get involved with Come on, that I don't care. Again. Just fucking shut up. <laughs> And then he rebuilt the bridge, even though he's not there, but I guess he just magically float, like a fucking fairy. And then I got his power cell, and I believe I went, I went like, I got, I went around and collected like, uh, three more scout flies, and I went around there, and I think, oh, okay, I can go around there, but then I was like, no. Hey, what the fuck is that button for, dude? And I went around here, and then I was like, where's the power cell, or where's the scout fly? I didn't see it at first, and then it was like right there in front of me. And that's an equal of four, and I went like that. Look, <laughs> that was good. And that's four or three D. Okay. And then where did I go next? I don't remember. Okay, so I went behind. There's a scuffle behind that boulder that I didn't like go and get. I went all the way over here and was like, oh, where's it at? Oh, ten precursor orbs. Woo. And then I went over here and I, uh, I I got it. And then I went over to the near the bridge area and got my fifth one. And uh, that's pretty much where this video ends. Um, I will see you guys next time, and we will be doing uh, uh, the precursor basin. And I thought I was gonna go around there and like uh, I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> so that's it, guys. I will see you next time. Goodbye, forever. Just kidding. Love you.